So if you are not evil, you are no good. This is the fascinating thing that one finds in the relationship between family and friends and parents and children. You take the example of a child that has got a history with siblings, parents and friends and the person decide to change and make an effort and actually change to become a better person, immediately the person is not good anymore. They're not evil enough. They've changed. They have, I don't know you anymore. It's like a fascinating thing because it's as if your complete environment tries to prevent you from changing to become a better person, somebody that stands for what's best for all at all times and it used the most atrocious ways to do it. Bad mouthing other people, um, claiming you're an occult, saying you've changed, I don't know you, it's all manipulation. But in fact, what are they all trying to do? They're trying to say, to keep the person as evil as possible because then they can be as evil as possible. It's fascinating. The human being has this propensity for evil and wants to be evil because you want free choice because free choice is the greatest evil that ever existed because it allows you to choose evil. I mean, that's the implication of free choice. While if you stand up for life here and what's best for all, you no longer have a choice. You only live what is best for all. That is not a choice anymore. There is no longer a polarity because you will yourself to stand. Yes, it'll take time. Yes, it'll take time to change the system. Yes, it'll take time to change the world. Yes, it'll take time to change nature. Yes, we will change nature even. Have a look at the simplicity of the common sense. When you start to accumulate it, one plus one within the quality equation, you start to notice the fascinating thing. When one accumulates within yourself actions and deeds that is best for all, you become confident, you feel better, you actually start to enjoy yourself, you start to respect yourself, you start to feel proud about yourself, and then you have your evil family trying to get you back to evil. Fascinating that family, instead of being the neighbor the neighborly love that it should be and the neighbor or friend that should be also the love point. Neither of them are part of love thy neighbor. They are in fact saying, I'll make sure you remain evil so that I can be evil. Do not give them the light of day if they come with you or to you to convince you that you should be evil because otherwise you've changed and you are no longer the same person. Obviously we cannot remain the same person if we are to change the world to become a better place. Obviously if heaven is to be on earth we have to become heavenly. What's best for all and therefore can no longer tolerate any weakness or evil in any way whatsoever. That'll be inevitable. Common sense.